Hi sweeties, welcome back. Today I'm gonna to show you something really simple and easy to do and something you guys might have already around the house. I wanted to create a little pen loop for my planner and you can do this for your planners, your journals, um, your notebooks, anything that you wanna put a, a, a pen loop on, you can. And look at how cute it is. And this is all it is. I'm gonna take it off so you can see it. And this is all it is, a pen loop for your planner. If you're interested in seeing how I did this, stick around. Okay, to start off making our pen loop, you just need some really simple things. And I'm sure it's stuff you already have around the house. A pair of scissors, these little clamps, and these are the small clamps. And you know, I have black and silver. A pen and some hair ties, and these are the ouchless ones. And these, you know, they say fine hair. I got these at my local grocer. You can probably get them at the dollar store or Dollar General. I got these for $3, there's five on here, but I'm sure you can get them from the dollar store. I just can't get to the dollar store right now, and we all know why. And a hot glue gun, which I can't get into the picture at the moment. But those are all the things you need. So let's get started. So I am gonna take this hair tie that's black with polka dots. It's so cute. And I will put this on any planner. I don't even care what color it is, but it's cute. It's so cute. Now you can either cut it here, but see, I don't want these ends that are kind of already like tight. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna cut it here. like this uh, right there I'm just gonna pull that little piece back and glue those two pieces together so I'm just gonna put a little glue right on there be careful not to glue yourself it's very hot get those two pieces together Hold it together, and now I have a nice straight edge. Nothing to fray. So now, open up your clamp, because you want it on this little inside part, just like that. See? And that's how it looks. So now you're gonna take your glue gun, and put some glue right up here, and not a lot, And it's really hot, so be careful. And you're going to take that end and stick it on there. Just like that. And it will squish all over right on the end. And I like to hold it there. I like to count to 10. Now, you're almost done. So now... You want to make sure when you take your pen, you want to see how much material you're going to need. So you're going to slide your pen in, and then you're going to cut your material. Now remember, it's elastic, so it's going to be stretchy. So you want to have enough that your pen doesn't slide through. You know, you want to just cut it down. See, like that's how it's going to look on the other side. So I stick my pen in there, and that's where I'm going to cut my material. So I'm just going to pull my pen out. And then that's how it's going to look, just like that. You can kind of see it. See, that's your hole. So take your scissors. Now you're going to cut on this side. And I'm going to cut right on that line there. And now I'm going to hot glue that piece. Chuppy is growling. <laughs> so I'm going to put some glue on there. Come on. A little hot glue gun. You can see I got my glue on there. I'm going to fasten that piece down. Remember, it's very hot. And at least it's clear, so when it dries, you can pull off that excess. Just like that. 
hold it down. Now, where's my pen? Get your pen. Get your pen in. And there, I have my pen loop. So now I have my two cute pen loops. Now this one is my one of my favorite planners and it's already got one in there, but it doesn't matter. So like, I like to stick it right here. So what you're gonna do, and make sure it's dry first. I know I'm so silly, I'm excited. Like if I wanted to stick it here, I could. Then you just shut it up. And then when you shut your planner, or your binder, there's your pen loop. Perfect, right? I think that is such a nifty idea, you guys. I love it. So now that I have that one there, I'm gonna put this one on too. See? Ah, let's get that baby on there. And I'm gonna put this one right here. Oh, I have that little pad there. All right. Let's get that pad out of the way. Get that out of there. Okay. Clamp that on. Pull that back. Look at, there's your pen. And there's another pen loop. So actually, I'm going to stick that on the inside of that little thing there. Look at. Two pens. I made two pen loops on the inside. Adorable, right? So this was a really quick and fun craft to do. You can do this with your kids. Make these fun little pen loops. I adore this. Isn't that really cute? That is adorable. Look at there. If you follow me on Instagram, I will be making a whole bunch and showing you different styles that I use on Instagram so you can see different ways to make them, different colors. It is so fun. And I already have a pen loop in this one, but sometimes I like to carry two different pens. Look, and I have one of these on there. So I like to have all different types of pens. But I think these are the cat's meow because I've been looking for pen loops. Remember, you can get these from your dollar store, Target, Walmart, but they are very cheap at the dollar store. And I got these from my local grocery store. If you're new to my channel, I'd really like it if you would subscribe. Don't forget to hit the notification bell so you know when all these great videos are up. And if you want to see me do more fun planner projects, go to my Instagram at Deborah Meldy H E Taylor, and you can see me do all this fun stuff there as well. Until the next time, you guys, talk to you later. Bye bye. Backwards, forward. <laughs> see you guys later. Deep end, we're alive, living life underwater. Let's spend all we've got getting buzzed. You pretend you're a god, I believe I'm a 